Hi everybody and um, thank you for coming back and checking out my channel again. Um, I'm not quite sure how often my videos are going to post because I work a full-time schedule and uh, at a hospital and I just don't always have a lot of free time but I wanted to show you my recent joannes.com haul. They had a fifth, I believe it was a fifty percent off sale on their craft in their craft department, and um, I went a little overboard, but I got an amazing deal and stuff I've been wanting for quite some time. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you, and um, hope you enjoy. So it actually came in two ship shipments, and so the first thing, and also excuse me. My craft room is ripped apart at the moment, and so I figured I would just uh, do this on my bed, and I figured this was brighter than what is, uh, I have a really dark bedding, and I just figured this would work better. So anyway, we're going to start with Nouveau Gilding Flakes. They had um, a gold but I got, sorry for the glare, I got the silver. I'm afraid to open it because I know my fan's running and, oh, oh, there you go. I don't know if you saw it just fly away. Uh, we're not going to do that again. Um, darn it. Okay, let me put that away. So that was the silver <laughs> and this is the copper. And I was really hoping to, uh, hoping it would be closer to like a rose gold, but um, no. But it's still absolutely stunning, and I can't wait to play with it. Um, and with that Joanne sale, um, I think this was the cheapest I found anywhere. I wish I knew what I did with my invoice. Um, I do apologize. But I belong to like so many email subscriptions as far as... Uh, shopping craft shopping websites go you're gonna notice a theme I got the new craft spoon and so this is really good for like if you're working with beads or sequins your um, embossing powders glitter stuff like that I got two in the first shipment and then I asked turns out I wanted it so much I bought three of them so so yeah, I will put those to good use. We'll stick those up there. I have my fan running. I never shut it off in our bedroom, but anyway. So next, I got, like I said, a theme. I went a little crazy on the uh, Tonic Nouveau products. I got the embellishing mousse. And I got, this is custard cream. French rose, toasted almond, and coastal surf. And I just think these are so pretty. Um, let's see. I'll actually open one. It's a really creamy. You can use it with like your uh, your Tim Holtz or your Ranger, your blending sponges, or you can get those like ergonomic sponges. Any any of those like um, what do you want to call it? To me, they look like stress balls, but, well, I apologize. So I guess we'll just go there, and it's really creamy. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? I know it's a lot of glare. I'm sorry. Hi, Abby. Abby is, um, I foster for a local Texas Persian and Himalayan rescue. And Abby is my current foster. Say hi, baby girl. Let me put her down. They think they own the bed. So, come here. I've been fostering for them for, it's, wow, six years now. I started in 2012 um, when my oldest graduated and my husband went off to Korea. So, you know, I just needed to add a little more to my plate. But anyway, so I got these four um, 
um, embellishing mousses from t um, Tonic Nouveau. Then I got, oh, I guess I should have grabbed some scissors, I'm sorry. My la one of my last posts, I, I said that I had just started collecting the uh, crystal drops or, or the glitter drops. They have a couple different uh, drops uh, lines. But anyway, so this one is Copper Penny. My light's not really good. I do apologize. This one is Neptune Turquoise. It's gorgeous. Ripened Pumpkin. Um, it looks like it's coming up on my phone more yellow. It's actually like a, a really nice pumpkin, pumpkin-y orange color. And then Buttermilk. And I love this. I think these are gorgeous. And just so y'all know, yeah, I live in Texas, but I'm a Florida Gator girl. So any combination of orange and blue, I, I automatically gravitate to it and have to have it. So those are my latest um, acquirements to my crystal drops. Then, um, because of... I am a huge fan of Jennifer McGuire, um, Sandy Alnock, Alnock, I apologize, and Kay Werner, and, um, and I have seen all of these featured on their videos before, but these, I want to say were in their clearance section. I mean, the prices I paid for the, I, I, I really wish I knew where my... Well, the invoice is here, and it doesn't have the price. I apologize. Anyway, I really suggest, like, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Uh, I don't know. So I know some hobby stores or craft stores are, like, regional only. But you should, um, and then online there's scrapbook.com, Hallmark scrapbook, scrapbook, scrapbook pal, uh, Simon Says Stamp. Mama Elephant, my favorite things. You really need to sign up for all of their like subscrip email subscriptions because I shop around for the best deal for um, all my goodies. And I mentioned before, you know, I'm a I'm a close to my heart consultant, but I consider myself an equal opportunity crafter because I just I love everything crafty. And um, you know, I guess what what is it? Pokemon got to catch them all, got to have it all. Got to have them all? Yeah, I'm kind of like that. But anyway, so this is a, a three-step process. And I didn't, they didn't have the dies, so I will continue to look for the dies. But this I saw on, I can't remember whose YouTube channel, but this is an absolutely stunning wreath that you put the base down. Then if you have, like, either the Tim Holtz stamp, uh, stamp platform, the Misty, or any of the other stamping positioners, use these to put on top, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's these little arrows, and so these help position um, when you're uh, doing the layering steps, but uh, one of the videos I saw, they, they went over with uh, like a metallic mousse, or uh, a metallic, I believe they did uh, Versamark, and then they went over with like a, a pearlescent embossing powder and it was just gorgeous. And then you can do the different leaves and pop it up even more. It's just, I've been wanting this one and so happy I got it. And this, Concord and Ninth, Ninth they are, I just found these the past year and these are turnabouts and so you stamp it one way. Then you turn it and you stamp it again. You turn it for you stamp it four times and it creates a really pretty bra uh, background um, that you can either use on cards, uh, just do all kinds of wonderful things. And then you have the additional sentiments on here. Um, so happy to have this. 
And then I just thought this would be beautiful for a card. You're a whole lot of lovely. Yes, you. So I can't wait to... I might do that for one of my sisters. Not sure. And then in this other box, I got sticky embossing powder. And I actually got this to use with the flakes because use this like regular embossing powder but then when you heat it up it gets sticky and it stays sticky and then you can take your gilding flakes or like foil foiling paper for like either the mink deco foil whatever and you can um use it to accent whatever project you're working on so i was really excited to get that now my big box. This is the fun one. So, okay, we're going back to the Nouveau. So, they have absolutely beautiful glitter. And I'm, I personally prefer a really fine glitter so that I can really burnish it into my projects and you get a you get a ton and the you know the pretty you know you gotta love the little jewels they stick on top of all their bottles so I got I'm thinking Christmas so this is olive green and again I just got home from work and I should have cut all this open first and I didn't but I guess, you know, that makes the fun. You guys get to watch me open up all my treasures. This is Ruby Red. Um, I kind of actually see Dorothy's Ruby Slippers in that, don't you? Just beautiful. And then Light Gold. And I, I just, I might have a lot of fun with these on my Christmas cards this year. Uh, I am determined to get them out this year. I didn't get them out last year because I wasn't doing too well. So, so there's those, and then I have more of the, that's the end of the, this is the end of the, the crystal drops that I got this weekend when I'm actually off from work. I'll have to show my collection because I actually just started it last month. So this one is a really pretty green. I can see this like on Christmas trees. Um, woodland green, that's appropriate. Simply white, um, that's kind of obvious. I hope that I had, a, I, I guess I should have been watching my camera. And silver lining. And this is showing up on my camera more blue, but it's, it is silver and it to me it looks like it has a faint like purplish tint to it but yeah I really like that and then these <clears throat> for those of you who are fam familiar with uh, I think it's what Ken Oliver's color burst um, I'm not quite sh I think there's like two or three other brands out there I just only color burst is the one that I can uh, remember oh okay so I lied and then I have red berry uh, crystal drop and again I didn't pay attention if that was in the view of my camera it's showing up pink it is does kind of have like a pinky a pinkish red color so just so y'all know I am I am a big, I'm a curator of crafty anything, basically. When I first started crafting, uh, well, I've always been crafting in one form or another. I, my grandmother, if anybody's ever seen the movie um, Doc Hollywood with Michael J. Fox, Bridget Fonda, um, Woody Harrelson, the quilt that's featured in that movie, my grandmother made, and she consulted on the movie set uh, for that quilt. And there's a long story to that, but um, but anyway, so I've been quilting since I was 10 years old, and I'm I'm well into my 40s. We'll just we'll just go that route. 
anyway, as far as anything to do with paper stamping like that, I've only been doing it since 2008 when a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, opened up a craft store and I went to one of her classes and I was just hooked from there. Um, and at the beginning it was just, I had to have everything. It didn't matter what it was, I had to have it. And only in the past five years, um, I don't have to have everything. I am really picky about the stamps I get, the inks I get, um, embellishments, uh, uh, I've, I've become recently addicted. I believe it's called Co Kokio. It's an, an adhesive tape runner. I actually buy it on Amazon, and it, it has to ship over. You can get it on Simon Says Stamp, but I actually get it cheaper on Amazon. I buy a lot of my stuff on Amazon, unless I find a sale, a really good sale somewhere. Anyway, back to these little treasures here. So these are brand new from Tonic Nouveau, and they just launched at uh, Creative, I think it's called Creativation. Uh, they changed it, the name of it, and I, now I can't even remember the name that it was called. But they launched it in, I want to say February? I think it's February. And you couldn't find them. If you could find them, they sold out right away. But when I found these, I had to grab all the colors because this was even cheaper than you could buy it at Tonic. I think I got them for like a dollar something a piece, and they're normally around, I want to say, three or four dollars a color. But these act just like the uh, Ken Oliver Color Burst, and they're absolutely gorgeous. And when I finally get my craft room where it's in a craftable condition, I'm going to demonstrate these and I really hope you guys love them. But so there are seven colors right now. And I got Atlantis Burst, Violet Brocade. Oh, look. So it kind of shows you when you add the water spray, it, that's what it kind of turns into. And this is the Atlantis Burst, and it has. Uh, different shades of green and little flecks of yellow. I just, that, that's going to be gorgeous. Then this one is Cherry Bomb. And it doesn't look like it really uh, has a lot of color to it, but I think it's going to be really pretty for like a background. Blue Blitz. And this one has shades of blue, uh, looks like green, and little flecks of purple. So that's going to be gorgeous. Green Parade. Look at those flecks of yellow. Uh, and, and there's even blue in it. Uh, this is going to be gorgeous. I just, I'm so excited. Solar Flare. I know it doesn't seem very impressive. And this is called Cloud Storm. And if you like to do like galaxy backgrounds and stuff like that, I think this is going to be really pretty trying to create a galaxy background. Just beautiful. Then, so. I'm going to be doing, so, I don't know if I really want to share this because that means I have more competition. When I mean I shop everywhere, I shop everywhere. I love shopgoodwill.com. And when I do the video to share the two auctions that I won and what I got, y'all are just going to be floored. It is. It was just a steal, and I took it right out of <laughs> right out from somebody at the last second. But I'd been watching him for over a week, so we'll just say that there's a lot of alcohol ink in there, a lot of um, ink refill, Ranger ink, stuff like that. And, and like I said, when I show you do the video that haul, y'all are gonna be crazy. So I just went ahead because these were dirt cheap. I think I got the two of these. 
both of these for six bucks total for the two of those. And I have been wanting, I have most of the Distress inks in the full size, but none of them in the minis. And I was not fortunate. Our Hobby Lobby here, when they were doing their 75% off clearance, our store was not one of those that marked their Distress Mini sets down. They kept them at full price while I was sadly watching all my friends or those that I follow scoring these amazing distressing minis at 75% off. And I was just really sad. Well, I grabbed every single set they had at Joanne. Um, I think I'm only missing... I'm not actually, honestly, I'm not sure how many sets there are. But I got all of these. They were 50% off, so I think... But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think there's fifteen sets. So now I'm only missing four. So I am really excited about that. And yeah, none of these are a repeat. Thank goodness I don't think. No, they're not repeats. So super score here. Super excited. So continuing on with the Tim Holtz um, and refusing to pay full price. Um, so I think I paid like four something a piece for these. Yeah, so I think I paid four something a piece for these. And then I just followed right along with the Distress Crayons. So I guess if we go on to Joanne, sorry, dot com and whatever their list price is, I got 50% off that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sets of those. So times, well, it looks like some have, oh, they're numbered. So... Oh, I bought that twice. Gosh darn it. Well, I guess I'll give that to somebody because I do plan on once my my viewing uh, viewers grow, I think I'm going to do my first giveaway at 100. And so I'm going to, I plan a big giveaway um, at 100 viewers and then I plan on the next one at 5 and 1,000 and we'll go on from there. So... Because I'm actually, my craft room is destroyed because I'm in the process of purging because it really needs it. So that's going to go into the giveaway haul. And then honestly, I don't, oh, yeah. I bought a box of these because I am getting ready to make, um, I absolutely love, Graphic 45 is one of my absolute favorite paper lines I'm a I love antiques vintage I love anything that is old I think I think I'm an old soul that adores anything technology and electronics <laughs> so but anyway um, there are some great artists out there like uh, I think Kathy Orta she makes these gorgeous mini albums um, and then there's another line. I'm going to have another group that I love to follow. And I'm going to have to find it and let y'all know because these ladies make some absolutely stunning mini albums and they use these little discs, tiny little magnetic discs and, um, in their albums. And I, I couldn't pass up this because I've never seen these magnets this cheap ever. So that was the first time buying them. And then, like I said, I adore Graphic 45. They had this set. This set is called Communique. This is the Communique collection. And so it comes with the stickers, uh, the chipboard um, embellishments, 
and I'll actually open it so y'all can see why I love Graphic 45 so much. Everything they do has a vintage uh, feel to it. So I'm definitely going to be making a mini album um, using these. Um, I absolutely adore the 1920s and the Art Deco uh, vibe from that uh, era. Um, I fell in love with the movie Gatsby because granted I didn't really like the music that they played, but the set design, the costumes were just, just stunning. And I, I, I was obsessed. I had to have the movie just to watch and see all the beautiful people. And speaking of Gatsby, check that out. Um, the sign that kind of watched everything that was going on, the affair, um, the accident, the running away from the accident. Um, awesome. Hello, this is Liberty speaking. You'll find I'm, I am love Americana. Um, I'm very patriotic. Um, I have a very um, military family, so I am just anything patriotic that supports our service members. I am right there. Okay, so to their paper. So it looks like it's two of everything, so... This is kind of like a, I don't know what exactly call it a gingham. It's a check plaid. It's a cream and like, what's the color? What's it? Um, like a vintage red. And then we have a cut apart. And just absolutely love this. These are going to be beautiful when I do the mini album. So there's that one. And then this vintage stamp. Oh, love it. Isn't that beautiful? I'm all about dip pens. Um, I'll be doing a video uh, coming up soon. I have just started collecting. Um, in fact, I just had to come in today from China. Glass dip pens. Yes, they're glass. And they're gorgeous. And one of them that I got today actually looks like it, it has a an octopus in it. And that doesn't sound really cool. But when you see it, you're going to agree with me. It's absolutely gorgeous. And yes, glass dip pens. You dip the glass pen in the ink and you write with it. And it is smooth. It is beautiful. And if you want the handwritten personal touch, these are wonderful. But anyway, okay, so there's that. Then we have, I'm going to call this Prison Stripe. <laughs> we got our Art Deco going on. I think that is beautiful. All that geometric, just beautiful. Then we have, I don't know, call that a jacquard, a little diamond pattern. <gasps> love it! I love antique typewriters. I've got one. I'm on the hunt for one that actually works so I can use it. But look at those. Oh, look. There's ink. Gorgeous. Diamond check. Got us a newspaper. The communique. Just love this. They've really got the pattern for this paper down. This is beautiful. Love it. I don't have, I wish I had better the color saturation so y'all could actually see, but this is again that kind of like vintage red on the cream or like, like off white, really pretty. And then, letters, photos, phonograph. Phonograph, I actually have, well, not this model, but I do have a Victrola. I love it. I do collect 78s. And when the little kids come over and hunt our, our cul-de-sac, they are just, can't believe that this thing that I crank has noise that just comes out the front of it and it's not plugged in, into anything. 
no electricity, there's no light up screen. They're just, wow, that's so cool. So this is kind of like that one I called the prison stripe, but it's in like an orange and a cream. And those say, I don't know if you can see it, public telephone. Quick glance, they look like at the head of a bullet, a shell casing. And then little telephones. More. I guess I should just do that for y'all to look at it instead of giving you a headache. I'm sorry. What do you call this? A, a harlequin? Harlequin think pattern? This, pa this particular paper is called a fine specimen, that's what it's called, this particular page. And this, I guess this is kind of like your your type, it's supposed to look like a, um, like a printer's typeset or something, I guess. I'm not quite sure, but. This one's called Pen in Hand, it's the, the, uh, this sheet collection. Oh! Look at all the calligraphy and dip pens. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh, I love this. I can't wait to show y'all my dip pens. They're so pretty. And this one is called Communique. And we're back. So it looks like there's a lot of this one, but absolutely gorgeous paper collection. I'm so excited. Then the front. Again, the stickers, alphabets, and for those of you who don't know, I'm not a big, I am not a big fan of stickers. I love um, dimension to anything I make. And so normally with something like this, I would probably cut a, a background piece and then I would pop this up, but before I did that, I would use, um, baby powder to then put it on the back to take away the sticky and that way you can pop it up and you don't have to worry about it sticking to your background so so yeah so that is my haul for you today from hobby uh, no I'm sorry from the joanne.com shopping spree I did I have a Tuesday morning haul that I'm gonna um uh video for you this weekend. I won't be off next day off is Sunday, so it'll be either Saturday, no, it won't be Saturday night because I have to put in a 15-hour a day that day, but I'm okay with that because overtime for me is really good. Um, so it'll be Sunday that I will be posting my Tuesday morning haul, and that one will actually be a collaboration of probably three or four trips to three different Tuesday mornings and uh, what I did include in this haul I did go to a Joann's up in New Braunfels um, I live near there in Texas and I got an ot light a really nice ot light for that was on clearance for $30 and it has a base or you can detach the ot light and it has a clippy base so I can clip it to the side of a table it's really nice and then, oh, and I got a new Mama Elephant stamp. And that, I love Mama Elephant. And that was a new stamp I'd never seen before. So, so happy I grabbed that. They had another one that were little monsters. And I'm not really big into those. They were cute. And I should probably get them for when I hope to have grandchildren probably in the next five years. My kids are all grown and gone, but I don't want, I want them all to enjoy being adults before they have kids. Anyway, I really want to thank y'all for stopping by, visiting. Um, I will post my blog in the description down below and uh, just a little bit of information. I, I'll, I'll share the links to those uh, websites I was telling you about that you should really subscribe to if you haven't already. But if you're an addict like me, most of y'all are probably already there. And besides, I only, I think I only have five subscribers right now. But 
know, like I said, I'm going to do a pretty nice giveaway when I hit 100. So if you share, like what I'm doing, like I said, I am growing. I hope to get my videos set up nicer so the quality, the color, everything is better for you. And once I figure out how to do editing, all that software mess, I, I, I plan on bringing you some really nice videos in the future. Again, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye.